So this is game seven, presumably. Yep. I don't know about you, Lewis. I can't see the comments now. I'm going to watch entirely off the stream on um, Skype. Right, I'm watching on Twitch, but I can hear you, so I okay. can see the comments as well as uh, what you're saying. Okay, I've avoided doing that because of the lag. Right. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, I should probably switch to uh, Skype. If you feed. put that to mute, you can probably see some interesting comments that are making. As long as one of us can see people's comments, I think that'd be good. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Anything obvious? Uh, is it Dwayne to start? He has the lower rack. Yes, David, yeah. Right. He's got the wonderful UVW combination, so even things like wife aren't that helpful because you're keeping UVWs lined up view, which seems reasonable. Yeah. And he has played it. Okay. HTU, not the best leave, but you're constrained by the UVW combination, so. Yeah. He's as good as it gets, really. I would not play twice well. or wise. I'd have to disagree with that. I'd have to disagree yeah. with that. Well, let's go with David. He's put it at... What's his choice? He's put the E on the star, so yeah, he's putting the I next to the double, which, oh, yeah, okay. seems reasonable. I don't suppose there's too much in it, position-wise. No, not really. Although, I suppose it'd be... Yeah, that's, that's fine. And Piotr has a reasonable rap, but he'll be looking to get rid of um, two A's, AUF, although he can't really score much with that. Stuff like Favour, maybe, F-A-V-A, although yeah. he'd like to play off the U if he can. Or possibly, possibly just Fava. There's there's Auf leaving the very strong rate, but it doesn't score very much. Yeah. Auf and although, or. Although Favour doesn't score that much either. Mm. Um, oh, he's playing, playing four, which is pretty reasonable as well. The R will work well with the ATE. Yeah. The U under the um, triple letter score, that's well, not that dangerous. Um, yeah, seems reasonable. Yeah, don't see much don't in it. I suppose you could play four to the same place. Yeah, much of a muchness, although yeah. that gives away XI, um, although four gives XU, but that's hard yeah. to hit. So, yeah. Either of those are fine. Um, Dweeber's drawn an awkward rack. He's got two eyes and a U. That's another horrible combination. And his tiles don't go well with this ball. He doesn't have uh, the E to go under the R. He's got nothing to go above the U. So he's going to struggle this turn finding anything worthwhile. Yeah, this is it's pretty horrible, really. It just doesn't fit the board, like you say, at all. Um, dear. Um... I suspect you may change here. Yeah, change is quite possible. Keeping IRT, although, yeah, it's pretty hard. Yes. Um, yes, there, possibly. K4. It's not uh, great. Oh, what? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that. THIR. THIR. Right, yeah. Um, no. I don't like that personally. And but there's also, the, the, well, Quackle's telling me there's Tawhiri through R, leaving G. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. That's a very stylish play, but. Um, yeah, I think it's better than a change, Tawhiri. I think if he doesn't right. see Tawhiri, he may change. What do you reckon? I think I'd still change even if I saw it, because J right, is okay. still horrible for this board. Yeah. And giving yeah, away it's... 40 points on the triple, I think changing, keeping IRT is best myself. Yeah, it's marginal, yeah. I think that's what he's setting up. Yep, and there we go, that's what he's done. Yep. Back to Piotr. Um, he has a more pleasant rat, but it's not bonus. He's got the FHM. Um, it goes better with the board, obviously. Although, um, short of playing things involving MU, perhaps isn't that much on unless there's a fourth timer I'm not seeing through the R. Look myself, I don't see anything. No. 
they played like mother maybe M U T H A above four scores well. Yep, take the M U. Yeah, sets up your F next turn, although that's largely incidental. So F U R. Right, I'm cheating with Quackle. Uh, there's no four timer apparently. Um, okay. Feet possibly nine G. That's quite, nice. right. That's yeah. quite nice. That's quite nice. He's lined up Horf um, under view as well, I guess. Yeah. That yeah. Maybe too big a sacrifice, though. Although ETM's reasonable as a leave. It's very and good defense as well. Under FEH. Yeah. Yes, he can play FEHM next move, so that's quite yeah. handy in terms yeah. of what he's keeping. Can he infer anything from... Uh, David's change? Ooh, I four. think... Hmm. It'll either be a bonus leave or he's kept a high-scoring tile or an S. I don't think there's too much yeah. in for... He's not to know that he's that he kept probably the weakest three tile leave that he could have given that he changed. Yes, yeah, yeah. Quack, I'm simming it. Quackle likes feet at 9G, F E A T. Right. Interesting. But it's very close. It's very, very close. Fourth is fine. I have no objection yeah. to the horse. Sure. No, no, it's a strong move, I'd say. Yeah, horse right up there in the sim as well, with no inference, obviously. Good. This is where you want the appropriate floater, isn't it? Oh, uh, yes, the, the Y. Would be a saucy play if he had a Y. But can he hit the triple with the K? He's got the. Uh... Oh, he's playing immediately. Oh, but. I, I feel that he is playing too quickly on some of these moves. He's not thinking through what's possible. And that could cost him in the long run. Possibly. Well, I've always, I think a lot of players do play too quickly at this stage, uh, falsely taking, keeping too much time for later. But um... although Kiva is is okay, yeah, if there's no, if there's solid, no yeah. play with the K, the forty or whatever it is, then Kiva's fine. But I do wish he'd take a bit more time to think these things through. And Piotr's just drawn a blank. Hmm. Is there a seven there? They see one immediately. I'm a bit behind. So Quackle quite likes Kiva, actually. Um, right, uh, let's get back to the bonus rack. Looks very promising. Oh, there's Metist, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metist and Ma, at least. Oh. Yeah. Plenty others, yeah. Four's an adjective, right? I say um, you are. Yeah. What do you think? It's Scots, I think. I can't remember what it means. Yeah. Um, I think it's four. Oh, he's played me. Oh, he's played Matt. So he's missed it. Ooh, okay. Again, that's probably too quick. Yeah, four means yeah. far. Right, okay. Yeah, just even that's piece. kind of strange, because surely you'd play meat if you're going to not play the bonus. Yeah, that is very odd, and like you say, it's very quick. Um, I think it's worth taking longer to get the bonus there. Yeah. I probably take too long. I think a lot of players take uh, too short a time. Possibly tiredness creeping in after a long day. Yeah. How mentally challenging this is, playing you know, a series of games against an excellent opponent, and You've got the eyes of the world on you. Well, some yeah. of the world, anyway. I'm just looking at it. Metist is possible with Kivas or Ma. Um, at least he didn't play Fars. Um, other than that, quite likes Quackle likes Meet, M-E-T-E, -E, rather than Met. But yeah. I don't suppose there's much in it if you're not going to play the bonus. Uh, does it like playing under Hauf? It slightly prefers playing under Hauf, but yeah. not by much. In the meantime, Dweeb's got a promising rat, but he's playing Frib. 
keeping right. the A on T, um, yep. which looks fine. Yep. Not, there's not much on with that rack. Maybe you could dump I B, perhaps just play Fib. Keep the R, because the R goes well with the A on T. Ah, that was a very interesting move there. I don't know if anybody spotted it on the uh, chat. Very interesting move. Oh, is there, a, is there a four timer through ERS? Nope. Sorry, I've cheated. I've used Crackle, but... Uh, oh, Interview, of course. Interview, yeah. indeed, yes. Yeah. Yes. Which you have to play because it scores 50 or so. Yeah, it must be the best move. But failing that, Frib or Fib, not far behind, I don't think. And here comes Peter with his bonus. Drawing another eight hasn't ended him at all. He's got the... That's greeted, I presume. Didn't hear yeah. what he said. Well, could be a few there. That's probably as good as it gets in terms of score. Although again, he's played pretty quickly. It's given. It's going to give away thirty points on the triple. Is do we know what blank is? The G presumably. Did you catch that, there, Lewis? I didn't know, I'm afraid. Right. Well, it's all, the only feasible one, so presumably it's uh, the G. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dweeb's fishing expedition has come up empty. He's drawn EGI, and the R's in the wrong place for Reignite. This is going to be a tricky turn for him, I think. Because he can't score anything. Let's see. Yeah, I, I hate these racks. There's lots of bonus potential, but nothing at the moment. Very frustrating. He could play, he could play GIBE again. Yeah. Fishing. I quite like the fact that the A hooks there, the A of Kiva. Yes. Is it's it hard to block R, and score G, anything. Yeah. yeah. D hook of greeted as well, so... Jibe might be good. Where's Gee going to go? Might be worth trying to obstruct the E of greeted. Stop the opponent's score. Indeed. It's possible. Well, that's going to cost him another continent to do that, and he won't be yeah. keen on doing it. Looks like he's going to play Jibe, I think, through the B. Yeah, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, it gets frustrating when you keep leaving bonus potential and it doesn't mature and you're scoring 12, 14. It looks pretty feeble, but it doesn't mean to say it's not right. Yeah, by the time you get a bonus, you're still 70 behind because your opponent's been scoring well all the time. Yeah. Very hard things to get right at times. Yeah. I think the thing is not to panic and just go for turnover. It's the right move. Um, no. Keeping the bonus potential, we'll keep doing it. And Piotr has drawn the X, although it's not that useful on this board. He can score with the triple he opened up the previous turn, so he may well do that. Something like Wheel or well, where I was he's playing, which looks fine. Okay. Yeah. Quacker liked uh, like that as well. Let's see. That does give um, Dweeb the photo he needs, though, for turn light. Yep. That's a very volatile move, of course, keeping the uh, leaving the Essex at the end. Indeed, yeah. He's got that's to just go what he needs, it. really. If that's his only bonus. I don't see anything else, so it may well be. And here we go. He's seen it. That'll put him about still 50 behind or so. Uh, wasn't the rat line? 
Oh yes, that, of course they are. Yes. So that would be also very volatile, but presumably slightly better than tone light. Yes. Although it's easy for Piotr uh, to score off it, so yeah. But yeah, he should, he should still play it. Yeah, it's also an extra I'd, I'd not look to that R, slightly obscured by the D, but yeah, should have seen that. Is that a G or an L on Piotr's rack? It's Looks like a, a G. G. Yeah. Right, so he has one vowel, which is going to limit his options a fair bit. Yeah, I wonder how worried he'll be about tonal lights. And he's immediately blocking it. Yeah. Which, which is fine. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. It does give a, a three tile play next that will score 30 or so, but that's not the big concern on this board. He wants to take off tone lights with all four S's unseen. Yeah. Which uh, really has drawn one. So there's a bonus in it at the moment. Piotr leads by 76. And Deep has drawn a nice rack, where the yeah. Y inhibits it somewhat. Cool. So I think the question is, does he keep really strong bonus potential, play I or something? I, Oyer, perhaps, leaving Dines a very strong bonus potential, or does he score a bit more? Yes, always the trickiest question to answer when you have a rack like this. Do I Indeed. get the bonus, or do I score and keep a slightly inferior leave? In, exactly, yeah, very difficult situation. I think Day, possibly, leaving Irons, D-E-Y, Emu, and Yer. Oh, yes, yeah, I, I always forget about, yeah. Um, yeah, that's um, 30, isn't it, or so? Yeah, and quite a decent keep, Irons. There are 6,000 seen, though. Yeah. So, well, in drug. which case, can he score a bit more? It's pretty yat, isn't the word? That'd be nice. Yat, one, and yo. Or Roy, something like that would be perfect, but of course... Roy, Roy would be perfect, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can you spell Dory with an E in it? I don't think you can, actually, but that would be ideal if you could. Sorry, what, what was that, the...? D-O-R-E-Y, but no, it's ah, no yes. good. But that would be, that would be the play if, if it was valid. Yeah. You could play Dory without the E. Um, reasonable. Um, I think if you're going to do something like that, just play Y-O. I, I meant through the R of Wero. Uh, ah, sorry, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Well, they could play uh, Dor. Not very bonus to leave, though, with the Y. No. could quite easily spend three or four minutes thinking about this. I don't know what yeah. the situation situation's like. He has played quickly, so he probably has 20 minutes or so left. But you could, yeah, burn up a few minutes thinking about this one. He could play I and KY, leaving a nice hook, but um, that lends itself to opponent scoring off the middle top triple and blocking much of it. Yeah, that's, that's the real problem there. He's Easy 40, 30, 40. Yeah. And then, and then you're 100 behind. Yeah, and it's killed the eye hook that you just set up. It will provide yeah. three floaters, but uh, don't like it much. Yes, ideally, you should avoid creating hook swaps that are easy to block and give your opponent lots of points in the process. Yeah, he's still got the A hook of Kiva nicely. He does. Ten. Okay. Going all out for the bonus. Yep, trying to open up the bottom left a bit. It's hard to say what the best move is there. I'm, no, I'm not sure. I find the situation very, very difficult. And you can see waste what? too much oh, time. Ends, yeah. 
Josh was changing. He has no vowels, I think. I didn't Fair quite enough. see what he had. But he's kept the F. Right. I think the standard would be to keep a, kind of a, perhaps another consonant, but there aren't many vowel floaters, so it kind of the single S makes sense, doesn't it? It does. What's he drawn? Okay. He's drawn CT. Hmm. I'm sure he liked the T, but not the C. Probably like one of them, but not both of them together. Yeah, indeed, yeah, indeed. Is this where you want a vowel floater or something? You know, it's not great as it is. In fact, I think this is even trickier than the last move. It is. I mean, there's something like cat, keeping the very strong bonus potential, but um, this is where it can start to be blocked. Like if it's a blocky move off the A of Kiva and also blocks the Y-O underneath. You could play something like Nick or Tick and just open up the top last. Yeah. But again, he's only scoring 10. Not helpful. Metered, possibly. Even C. Something with metered, yeah. Or even just metered. Or just metered, right. 21. Then Gibb. You're going to need to draw at least one vowel. Unless you can yeah. draw something well, through the eye. Yeah, the eye is a semi floater. Yeah, it's he not a something yet. at least. Yeah. And he could hit something onto the D, which would get him 80 or so. And Josh was immediately playing off his vowels, playing Lou, which looks reasonable. Yep. 24. Yeah, Quackle agrees with Lou. So, and gained a lot of time there. Yeah. Can David get a vowel? He can. Yeah, that's good. Happy with that one. Oh, the Zed skills. Well, it, okay, but... Zed's not bad. I presume he can score. Oh, he can play Raz. He can play Raz. That's yep. fine. Or nerds, or their res is still better. Yeah, if you want a tab messing up a bonus, you probably want a Z. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be res. Probably just spend a minute trying to check for anything bonusy, but uh, it's a nice leave as well. It's a nice score. Meanwhile, Piotr has got a bit of a trap rack. He's got Jubates, but it's just Jubates. There's no S hook for it. Yeah, you can play something like Juba and, so, and yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, Rez has got to be the move. Not many E's left, though. The Comst is a pretty good rack. Again, you'll need Valves. Although he's almost level now, thanks to Rez, so... Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Play Jubas. Okay. He's going for the score. There are yeah, four FPSs to come, so... That's, yeah, going for the maximizing the score is pretty reasonable. You it's maybe didn't like... Board. Possibly didn't like leaving the A as next to double. A bit negative. But he's left some floaters, although U and a B, you wouldn't mind leaving a U and a B as a floater. Aha, crouton. Yep. So you would mind leaving a U as a floater. <laughs> How reckless. Yes. You should have played Juba. And there's Contours as well, but Crouton is obviously much better. Yep. It blocks very well too, because it starts with the C, so... Yep. He's gone to, well, not a huge favourite, but he was a long way behind, and now he's going to be nicely ahead on a board that's Almost dead, really. Yeah. 78. So what's his lead? 270. 30 or so? Yeah, 30. 
Yep. Okay. Nicely poised then. Dutra has a bunch of valves on the Y. Y's are always easy to score with, so you'll welcome that to some extent. You can play Boyo, for yep. example. Just seen Boyo. I think Boyo's got probably going to be the play. And then you can that play evens things it up. like Ori as well, or Airy off the R, but Boyo looks yep. pretty strong. Setting up Ori. Which will put them more or less level again. Yeah, yeah, this can be quite interesting. That blank pick for David. And the queue by the looks of it. All right, he's gone for Ori. Yeah. Not unreasonable. Yeah. Much um, Quackle likes Boyo for 32, Ori for 33, yeah. duplicating the E's. I don't suppose there's too much in it. David can just drop the Q um, between the eyes of Frib and Jibe. We could play QIN for a few yep. more. I think it's got to be QIN. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Um, ooh, my uh, end's very bonusy. 22. No, I like just QI, actually. Yeah. Six. There's nothing that horrible unseen, so I might take the extra mm. points. Yeah. Extra seven. Just was drawn Drac in the meantime. Indeed. They play the S when you need one. I think I slightly prefer just the Q. It's very difficult to see many things spoiling a bonus if you just play the Q. Yeah, there's not much in it. I think I would play Q I add myself, but fair enough. I think it's close to call. And the thing, great thing about QI is it doesn't really telegraph this strong bonus rack. It could just be a Q dump. Yes, you could play that with virtually any rack. Yeah. And he draws an S. Quit drawing there. Yeah. Well, almost anything would have done, I think, in terms of getting a Well, yes. Bonus. that goiter being set up, presumably? Looks like it. Not much on, so yeah, 18 points. Dump some vowels. Yeah, blocks there. Are the many, there, there aren't that many uh, vowels left, actually, so EI is actually perfectly good. As yeah. yeah, and it blocks, blocks the G, blocks the R, doesn't really give much of a hook except AU. But he's going to be disappointed. <laughs> he will. Because when you play Goiter, they won't. I don't suspect there's going to be many opponent bonuses after that from the unseen. It, it does cut down, yes, the chance of we uh, hitting yeah. back with a bonus by yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. Trying to find a nine to the S and the I. Not see one immediately. Worth taking the time for it. Although I think here a bonus would normally suffice. Yeah, any bonus, should, any be bonus should be enough. Yeah, unless you yeah. keep it open. Oh, the sirenized he could play, which is fun. Nice. Oh, very interesting. Quackle doesn't like playing the bonus. It wants goiters. Said, meted, and ee, -E, keeping Ren blank. I can't really see that. No. <laughs> it's not a bonus friendly board. You just play your bonus and move on. Just... Actually, um, are there any eights? Quackle's not coming the, up the, with the, any. 
There's derision through the derision, eyes. Yeah, surely, yes, obviously, yeah. So I'm discarding my brain. But derision's going to give floating D. Just the D, yeah. Anything with a D? Ooh, um, I don't really look at the D. Uh, stridden? I think, yeah, stridden. I stridden. I was about to say that, yeah. Um, um, might be it. So that it's not as easy as it looks. It looks like there's a host of bonuses possible. Yeah, but there's always division. But she's lining up now. Yeah. 59i. And that will probably be enough. Put some 60 ahead. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Not a bonus friendly. Uh, all, all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, piotr has got a nice bonus potential rack, but whatever he does, it's quite easy for David to restrict. Yeah, silencing doesn't quite fit through the SI, unfortunately. That would have been uh, pretty spectacular. Right, so what does he do? Um... He probably wants to keep the ING actually through yeah. through Yed. Could like con or something, C O N. He has the uh, final eye, I think. That's nice, yeah. Leaving two spots. That's really that's really hard to block. Yeah. Nice. And you can hit things through the D or the S I and Yeah, but yeah. anyway, he's not quite dead yet, but you'll have to uh, use up all the time. Oh he's playing it immediately. Yeah. Quite like He's it. Not dead yet. Nope. Oh, we've got an S. We've got sledding. Oh, nice, nice. And David's presumably going to restrict Con. You'd think so. Yeah, it's a good distraction. He's yeah. got N guilds up there as well. So, but someone like Vac would kill the bonuses off the D and through Icon. Yes. Although that so, that empties the bag, so Sledding's going to win. Yeah, but I think he Vac's the right move. It restricts yeah. down yeah. to all the D yeah. possibilities. Yeah. There's actually only two vowels in the scene. And how, how many bonuses through the D are there anyway? There can't be many. Okay, here's another possibility. How about blocking the D, uh, hoping you can outrun a bonus with Icon with a 52-point lead? Yes, although he can't score that much. No. Um, hmm. Yes, he might have to score here and hope that what he has... <laughs> yes, right. Do you remember David's rack? V A C A M. It's, it's come back now. Okay, ah, got it. He's got, got, he's got move P A. Okay, got you. Can he dump one tile? And, he could play Vox, I suppose. Uh, yes, and that would that would completely ah. Vox is nice. Vox is really nice because that kills the um, the D. Yeah, and he may be able to outrun a lot of bonuses over Icon or off the D. Sixty-nine up, he can play off the PM next move. So it's actually a really interesting end game. Uh, sorry, how, is he? My on my screen it says he's fifty-two up. Is that correct or yes? Not? But after after box, oh yes, I mean, sorry, of course, yeah. So he'll he could uh, probably outrun up. an Icon bonus. Yeah, and so end guilds are them about level well, then he can score with the MP and uh, yeah yes, but then he got one left so 
I yeah, think it has he's to be Vox. Oh, he's not playing. He's playing that. Oh, I think it had to That's be Vox. It's hard to see Vox losing. Yeah. And he's going to get a nasty surprise when he sees what's yeah, in the bag. Yeah, that could be so crucial in the match. And he's seen it immediately. Yep. I think it had to be Vox by some way. 62 and out. And is going to be a very relieved man after that one. Yeah. I think it had to be VAC over VAT anyway, because that... Um, there may not be yeah. any bonuses off the D, but at least it kills them as well. Yes, credit to Piotr for seeing Khan. Yes, I think Khan is the crucial move. Um, yeah. Without that, he's probably dead. And then perhaps a slight mistake from David um, in, without not playing box. Surely you'd play back rather than back there. I mean, if you're going to yeah, yeah that, it, that's but... what I was thinking. But um, yeah, box, yes, box, I think, is the play. But I think, I don't know, there can't be many bonuses through the D. I think no. Dave's chances of losing are very low, but perhaps he wins nearly all the time with Vox. Perhaps Craig so, but, could tell us how often yeah. Um, yeah, well 